Okay, so in today's video, we are talking about this little gem. Now, this is the Lawa by Venus Optics 10 millimeter f4 cookie lens for the Fujifilm X mount. Now, why they called it the cookie lens, I'm not sure. Technically, it would be a pancake lens, but it is an extremely small pancake lens, and it has their trademark blue ring around the front of it. It does have both a focus ring and an aperture ring on the lens barrel, but because of the tiny size and with both rings being there, makes it a little bit tricky to put it on and take it off your camera. So <laughs> that can be a little bit of a chore. But the cool thing is, is that 10, even though this is 10 millimeters, it's what's known as a rectilinear lens, which means when you're shooting it, you don't have to worry as much about your lines being straight if you're shooting buildings or something like that. It's not going to tend to warp the walls as much or cause other strange artifacts like most super wide lenses do. So we're going to take this little gem out and we're going to test drive it today. I'm going to head over first to Mayo Lake and do a little bit of landscape shooting over there with the lake, of course. And then we'll head down into Uptown Roxborough and we'll use this little gem for some architectural photography slash street photography, if you will. So come along with me, won't you? So here we are at Mayo Lake today, and I've got with me my brand new Fujifilm X-T5 with the Lawa cookie lens mounted on it. And we're just gonna get a couple of shots while we're here. There's people out boating and stuff like that. And I apologize, the wind decided to pick up a little bit for some reason. It was supposed to be calm and decent out today. And now all of a sudden we got strong wind. So I apologize if you end up getting some of the wind noise. beautiful uptown Roxborough and we're going to do a little architectural photography with the Lawa 10 millimeter f4 cookie lens and we'll see what kind of interesting shots we can get of all of these buildings here in uptown Roxborough. As you can see from my sample images, you could definitely get some unique, really wide shots as well as some really tall vertical shots with this little cookie lens by Lawa. And I really enjoy playing with it a lot. Now, this isn't my first time using a Lawa lens. I actually, at one time, had their 17 millimeter f 40 d for the GFX mount when I first got my GFX 50R. And although it was a great lens, I really wanted to autofocus for my projects, so I eventually sold it and then bought one of the GF 23 millimeter F4s to replace it with for doing my forgotten pieces of Georgia and Pennsylvania projects. But like I said, as you saw from the sample images, you can get some really cool photos with this lens and some interesting perspectives to say the least. So if you wanna, I'd definitely recommend checking it out. It's fairly inexpensive. I'll put a link down below in the description for this video. I want to thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications, and I will see you in the next video.